What is up guys? We are probably gonna be doing the most ridiculous thing that we've ever done. Uh, if you see right now, I have my Shining 3D scanners and that's because we have two of them. There's one that we haven't even talked to you guys about, which is the Vega, the Einstar Vega 3D scanner, which is a mobile scanner. As you can see, we're in a parking garage and uh, we have an assortment of tools here to show you guys what this would actually have taken before. So. This mobile scanner makes everything so limitless, we'll say, where we can scan large objects like this, a car, with no computer, no other crazy attachments, or anything whatsoever. We're just gonna scan it, we're gonna get the information that we need, and we're gonna run with it. But I've also brought another scanner here to show you what it would literally take for us to have done this mobily before. It's also 9.30 at night. It's also 9.30 at night. We drove an hour to get here. Um, it's a f Tuesday. <laughs> Today we're with the boys. We got Alex behind the camera. Hello. A Alex behind the camera. Yes. We got Alex behind the camera. <laughs> Hello. We got the boys, Kevin. And then look at, let's, let's give a big shout out to the homie. Shout out to the homies. I'm still waiting on my If you know, you know. Brandon? Yes. But uh, come with me and see what we got. We got a goddamn car battery, dude. Whole car battery. A whole <laughs> like car battery. Like legit just a car battery. <laughs> legit just a car battery. We need something to power this shit, dude. Bang. First, we are gonna try our Vega Einstar scanner, our mobile scanner for that. We're gonna use some painter's tape, dude. Reflections for 3D scanners are not a huge fan, so we gotta make sure that we try and get as many reflections out as well as add some texture to it. And uh, painter's tape is, from what I've found, works really, really well. Right, Alex? Yeah. In our one car experience, we did have good luck with this. If, you, if you're watching this at this time point, there's a lot of videos that have been filmed and not released. One of those is Alex's wing that you guys will probably have seen before this video. Or after. We or are after. very unsure about that. We are unsure in the order of operations that these will release, but... Um, but the FD is priority. We are doing this because... Why, Kevin? What's up? Why are we doing this so fast? Um, I'm going to SEMA. He's going to SEMA. Some year nuts. two to have some uh, race supply parts. Kevin, can we put tape all over your car? Heck yeah. You want to say what the dots are for? Uh, the dots are to help tracking. It's more of a just in case scenario. Because we did this for how long with your car and yeah. it didn't get anything good? No. Let's hear this one start up. Ah. 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 <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Bye. We got all our stickers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So hopefully we got all the tracking points that we need. Now the biggest thing that's gonna come into play right now is obviously we're in a parking garage, dude. So the lighting in here isn't great, even though Kev's vid did what? Million views? Yeah, dude, that's, I think it was like 8K. Yeah, crazy viral, because it looks sick. 37 views. 37 views. That's viral. You ready, dude? I was telling you about these things. Oh, that's fire. We got four of these things, dude. Do they come with those stands? Comes with this thing. I told you 60 bucks. Damn, that's actually pretty good. And look at, they're bicolor LEDs, dog. Oh, wow. I kind of f with the white, though. Click on our TikTok shop. <laughs> what do you guys think? It's going to work or not? <laughs> it's a lot of lights. It's a lot of lights, to be honest. What's crazy, though, is like, we're getting these scans tonight. <laughs> Look at our scanner, dude. You haven't seen this one yet. This is our new scanner. Literally. It's just a thick iPhone. Just a thick, thick boy iPhone. We're gonna do two different scans with this. Right now we're in our fast mode. Uh, so the surface isn't gonna be crazy smooth, but hopefully we get something good and usable here. Look at, 
and start scanning. And we'll see if we can So as you can see, the reflections don't do really well. It's yeah. getting like the tape. And it, what's funny is the gray works oh, really good. That figures. Bro, oh, this is no computer. Yeah, that looks pretty good. This is, look see. at the setup. You guys want to come check this out? Oh, damn. Now, how great is this scan going to be? Like I said, I don't really know. So, We're going to do a few different scans, like so I said. More stickers. As you guys saw, we just scanned this whole thing in a couple minutes after we got this all set up. And this is what our scan looks like on here. So what we're gonna do and show you guys is, um, we're gonna bring out the actual scanner and what it would take to be mobile and wireless like this. So this, you see the screen, all the data that we can interpret right here and look at it and see what we're doing. To do this mobily without this device, I'll show you what it would take. And then we'll actually compare these two scans later to see how close this one and the other scanner would be. I have a feeling like this other one might be a little bit more accurate because it's specifically designed to do one task, whereas this is designed to do a couple. It does two different types of scanning modes and it's mobile, it has the computer. So like, obviously it's a little more versatile because you don't need all the other for it, right? The computer, the everything else and the wires and the car battery. Yeah. <laughs> the focal point <laughs> of the setup. Um, whole car battery. Ladies and gentlemen, let's fire this up. Bang. I could have done this with a generator, but a generator is so much more damn expensive. This is a $65 battery from Harbor Freight. So we're doing this as cheap as we can. See the craziest setup that we're doing right now? There's a god battery, this laptop, this scanner, this wire, that wire. Oh, oh. Yeah. We're, we're sparking. Okay, let's turn this on and see if it works. There we are. So we have a car battery, a power inverter, my laptop, And as you guys can see, we've only lost tracking once doing this entire setup. Mobily, I might add. Off a car battery. Off a car battery. Keep driving that one home because that's insane. Kev, your this gray actually works real good, dude. Would it be harder if it was white? Uh, no, it'd be easier if it was white. This is what our scan is gonna look like. We're actually just here to seal paint coats. <laughs> I want to add more stickers because in here, Kev's trunk, it looks like there's a dent in it. I don't think that there's actually a dent in it. I just think that that's like inconsistency with the lighting or shadow that I may have made. Yeah. You see what I'm talking about right there? Yeah. And I want to make sure that we're going to get all the information possible. <laughs> dude, I have the scans for it, dude. <laughs> what everybody wants to know, the number one take, probably the most important question. This ARC-7 is sick. And Kevin also chose to own a Tesla. Yes. What do you have to say for yourself? My car is sick as hell. As you heard it here first, his car is sick as hell, dog. And the other one's a Tesla. Yes. <laughs> this is balance. <laughs> um, it's been a couple of minutes. Hours. A Hours. couple of minutes. We were sitting in this parking garage. We got here at 9.30. It's 11.40. It's 11.40, bro. Can I reiterate this again? On a 
goddamn Tuesday. I should be at Taco Tuesday, risen up all the hoes, but we're not. <laughs> we're down here with Kevin and Alex and the boys. And the battery. And the battery. Uh, 3D scanning. Shut okay, Kev, how, let's ask you a question real yeah. quick. Out of this entire process, have you de dealt with anything like this before? No, I've never built such a thing before. I, I've given feedback, but I've never seen people put dots on my car and like 3D model and things like that. It's cool to see. So obviously Kevin hasn't been through the entire process like we have with Alex's car yet, but um, doing this entire 3D scanning process, what do you? what is your opinion like? Hard, difficult, anything? Personally, it looks, I think if I had enough time and the, the hours to put into it, you, I think you can learn it. But after watching you do all this processing, I don't know. When you started talking about meshing yeah. and all that layering and stuff, you lost me there. But the basis what I was trying to get at is he watched all of this, has never done any of it. It's relatively, I'm not going to say simple, but you can learn it, dude. It's accessible. Yeah. It's accessible. It's not like... Let's be honest, y'all know, I'm not a professional. That's crazy, look at that though. <laughs> no, yeah, no, yeah, like, not a professional. <laughs> that, not a professional. Have you ever seen a, a 10 footer? That's like a 100 footer in like an Instagram car. Like you look at it and you're like, damn, that's sick. And you see it in person, you're like, damn, this trash. <laughs> He's lying. All around me are familiar faces. <laughs> I mean, how many times have you like met your hero online where you're like, oh, dude, this car, if only I would see it in person, then you see it in person, you're like... Every time, so I don't leave my room anymore. <laughs> yeah. So I don't come outside. Yeah, exactly. Um, I don't be no one's hero. All right, while we're here, though, take this mic, walk us around your build. You're, all right. You're going so far away. My bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> all right, the entire car is uh, M Sport kit, um, front, Wait, who side. Oh, sh my bad, my name is Kevin. I, uh, I own played out. Um, I have this RX-7 and I have the, the Tesla on Blitz 03s that people see all the time. I'm gonna throw the Blitz 03s on this car. But um, anyway, um, this car, M Sport kit, it's uh, a Nuzatec Staple Pigeon Gray. The engine I just rebuilt last month because I blew it driving home from Vegas. You heard me. Honestly, there's not a lot to describe about the build. I have uh, Meister, s 13 ps that I did in gloss white and it has uh, spin it spin it spin it spinning caps oh. I was a big fan of gritty so a lot of, I have a lot of gritty access in my car if I tell you why I have those you'll laugh so the seats are fixated or they're fixed right so I can't move them I'm a little I'm like two inches too short so uh, I, I use it so that it <laughs> so that I don't sink all the way in. Smart man. So it pushes that's me up smart. forward, but people think like, oh shit, dude, he has junction produce stuff. Yeah. That's sick. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's exactly why I have it. <laughs> we appreciate you, Kev. Of course. I'm excited to see how this looks. I'm excited about the fist bump with the mic next. That was probably good. <laughs> I've lined, processing, saving, exporting, and we're gonna be good. Let's say goodbye to this and hopefully We've done our job correctly and we don't have to do this again. Yes. So uh, to give you a little context of how fast we are going to take a 3D scan, render a part, develop a part, 3D print a part, and get it on his car and be real. Um, it's October 8th. T minus one month. T minus not even a month. Days. Yeah, quick maths. And here we go. A little bit of residue on there, but it's just all good. The wrap's coming off. Okay. We'll, we'll see you guys in less than a month. Okay, bye.